Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Welcome back. So today we're going to be diving into some The Irish Rover. Uh, maybe that's the name of the song, The Dubliners and The Pogues. Okay, so this was a suggestion from one of my friends who is from Ireland. Okay, uh, the one that if you've been on this channel, you've seen probably all of my reactions or a lot of them. You might have heard me talk about my friend who lives in Ireland. We met through gaming many years ago we've been friends ever since then and he follows my channel occasionally um and he'll dive in he knew i did a uh, fairy tale of new york or in new york uh with the pogues and uh he couldn't you know believe that i hadn't he really heard of them before but i haven't i only started hearing about them when um their lead singer was getting sick um of course he's passed away by now uh, but that was the first time i've ever heard of this group hadn't ever heard their name prior to that so i've done one reaction um, and he told me I should check this one out. He started playing a little bit of a snippet for me and I was like, I'd rather react to that. So let me just react to it. Send me the link and I'm going to react to it on the channel. So here we are. I heard probably about six, seven seconds of this, told him to stop it. And here we are now. So let's go ahead and dive into this one and check it out. The Dubliners and the Pogues, uh, the Irish Rover. All right, here we go, man. Six, we set sail from the street called the car. We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. But the wonderful craft she was rigged for the daft, and know how the wild wind blows her. She stood several blasts, she had twenty-seven masts, and they called her the Irish Rover. Million bikes of the best lawyer rights We have two million barrels of gold We have three million barrels of our nanny goat's tails We have four million barrels of stone We have five million dogs, six million herds Seven million barrels of birds We have eight million hides of our blind horses hides And all of the Irish Rover there was our Mickey Coot, who played hard on his flute When the ladies lined up for a set He would tootle with skill for each sparkling quadrille To the dancers were fluted and bent When he smart, when he talked, he was cock on the walk And he rolled the day thunder and over They all knew at a glance, when he took up his stance And he sailed in the Irish Rover the energy of the music, man. It's so lonesome by night and by day Then he longs for the shore And a pretty young whore Who will melt all his troubles away All the noise and the rout Fill it punching and stout For him soon and done and over Of the love of a maid He is never afraid But no song from the Irish Rover We are sailed seven years For the maids of broken out Lost this way in the fog And a while of a crew Was reduced down the two We set up and our captain's on top Then a ship struck a rock Oh lord, what a shock So it was turned right over Curtain nine times around Then the poor old dog was drowned Last of the Irish Rover Interesting little flute.
So the reason I told my friend I wanted to react to this is because when he started playing that, it came in at one of the musical sections as well. And I hear the music and I'm just like, dude, I got to react to that. Because the spirit that is in this music, man, that energy, that feeling, I don't get to feel that here. I am in Texas, all right? I am in South Central Texas. And I'll tell you what, you ain't hearing music like this unless the rare chance that there might be a Renaissance Fair or festival. Well, I don't know how often they host those here, but I've been to two. And sometimes, because they have like different kind of clans, I guess, right, representing different areas of the world. Sometimes one of them might be playing this type of music either on speakers or even live, uh, but it is super rare for me to hear anything near this kind of music. But the the spirit that it has, man, is just, it's a good feeling. All right, this is just good feeling. And it makes me think about like in the movies where you see or the TV shows where it's just a good old drinking time, everybody hanging out. That's the vibes it gives me, even though I probably won't ever experience this in the heartland uh, that this music you know was bred from uh but it's just a good thought to have and it's a good feeling that it gives um when you listen to it all right i don't necessarily have to be from this part of the world to hear it and really kind of get a feeling of the energy um and the spirit of the culture and the people uh that celebrate with this type of music i think it's awesome and it really makes me wonder in those areas of the world how often is this played you know is this a seasonal thing is it played throughout the year can you hear this everywhere or is it just kind of like something from times past i really don't know uh, but that whistle is that the tin whistle or is that a type of flute that he was playing on that gentleman really small almost looked like a pin man when i first saw it um but that was interesting but yeah just the, all these instruments together man is just a fun like joyous filled type of music and i i can appreciate that man i can enjoy it all right, so we've got the Irish Rover right here. I was curious about the history on this one, really wondering. I didn't uh, assume that either one of these groups made this song. I was assuming they were probably singing like an older folk song. So we're looking into that right here to get the information. All right, it says this article is about the folk song for the band, the Irish Rovers. There's a band as well as a newspaper called that, but we're looking for the song. So the Irish Rover is an Irish folk song about a magnificent... Uh, though improbable selling ship that reaches an unfortunate end. It has been recorded by numerous artists, some of whom have made changes to lyrics over time. The song describes a gigantic ship with 23 masts. Jesus. Uh, versions of the Dubliners and the Pogues claim 27. Um, oh, okay, 27 masts. A colorful crew and a varied types of cargo in enormous amounts. The verses grow successively more extravagant about the wonders of the great ship. The seven-year voyage uh, culminates in a disastrous end after the ship suffers a measles outbreak, killing all but the narrator and the captain's dog. The ship then strikes a rock, turning nine times around and sinking. The captain's dog drowns in the incident, and the narrator is the only survivor. The last of the Irish Rover, leaving no one else to contradict the tale. All right, so very interesting, man. Makes you think, makes you think if this was simply just a folk song or if this was one of those telephone game kind of stories that just evolved and got way more uh, crazy and extravagant as time went on and the song continues to grow um, with some questioning. Could that have been? Could that not have been? Although it's very improbable. Well, I heard so-and-so say it, though. Okay, this happened to them. So I don't know, man. It seems like one of those really cool folk urban legend kind of songs that just grew with time. Or maybe it's just always been known as fiction. I'm not too sure. Uh, Walton New Treasury of Irish Songs and Ballads 2, 1966, attributes the song to songwriter, arranger J.M. Crofts. A manuscript version of the song dated in 1937 and 1938 is currently in the Irish National Folklore Collection in Dublin, attributed to Liz Gorman Townland, a place, not a person, of Clun Lager. Okay, when I start pronouncing names, man, it gets really weird around here. All right, so let's skip through that. The next source, um, well, let me read through this. So it's saying that this, they have a manuscript version of this song in Dublin. In National Folklore Collection, so my boy Philly from Ireland, man, uh, you watching this video now and, and hearing this history, you got to go check that out. You got to go to Dublin to the Irish National Folklore Collection and take a look at this manuscript, man, and take a picture and send it to me, man. That'd be really cool uh, if you go and do that, all right? So there is a, a Canadian source, says Oliver John Abbott, who was alive from 1872 to 1962 he was born in england and worked on in farms in an irish community in the ottawa valley 
He recorded this song in 1961, so one year before his death, but he claims to have learned it in 1880s and 1890s. So where this manuscript is written um, from 1937, there is a gentleman saying, hey, I had actually heard this song back in 1880. So there is some, like, uh, I guess, gray area on really the history about this song. Another all right, so down here it talks about cultural impact. This is the Irish Rover is a popular Irish Gaelic uh, Scottish country dance and is set to the music of the song. The Irish Rovers created in 1963 were named after the traditional song, the Irish Rover, by um, their mother. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of recordings throughout time, but it looks like maybe this is a fairly popular version of it with uh the pogues and the dubliners now we looked up some history about the pogues let's look up a little bit about the dubliners these guys originate out of dublin ireland they typically do irish folk their years active were 1962 to 2012 uh looks like there was a break somewhere in there and they started again in 2013 and they go to present as the dublin legends so you can see them today as the dublin legends man it looks like they've had some member turnaround uh couldn't tell you exactly if any of these members are original or not, but it looks up there, they talk about Luke Kelly and Ronnie Drew, who are no longer a part of the group. All right, so that's what we got with this one, man. Let me know if there's more from the Pogues or even from the Dubliners that you guys think I should be checking out, man. This is fun type of music to listen to. I love it because I don't get exposed to it at all really over here i mean i can go a decade without any hearing anything similar to this so it's really fun to be able to hear this uh music so thank you philly man thank you everybody for tuning in here today i hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did please consider becoming a member here on my youtube or patreon for as little as three bucks man it's an amazing way to support me if you're enjoying the content don't forget to like subscribe check out the descriptions down below and i'll see you on the next one all right hope you all enjoyed man peace